Hi everyone, so um, I want to take some time just to chat, give you guys a make update, and um, I think today's going to be a little bit more of a chatty one. Um, I haven't updated in almost two weeks, I think, and so um, over the last week and a half or so, I feel like a lot has happened, uh, or not at the same time. I was sick for about a week, <laughs> and um, my kids were sick too, so it was just kind of like I was... It was hard to take care of myself, but um, I still somehow found time to think about makeup. Well, I would say makeup probably takes about 60% of my brain, so there's that. Anyways, so um, today I wanted to actually do something kind of fun. Um, I wanted to do my usual outs and then my ins and then um, talk actually through a new project that I want to start for myself um, and then also maybe do my kind of everyday makeup along the way. It is not time for me to get ready whatsoever. That's time for me to get ready for bed right now. But um, I just finished a workout, so I'm a little sweaty, uh, but I wanna just like throw on a quick face of makeup, show you guys what I do, and then like hop in the shower and like get ready for bed. So that's that's what you're hanging out with me to do because that's sometimes how I play with my makeup. Um, so first let's talk about um, some outs that have been happening. Um, not a ton. Um, actually, let's switch that and let's talk about the ins first because I think the outs actually relate to the project I'm about to do, so let's just do the, um, the ins real quick. So as you all know, the uh, Sephora sale just ended and I did, I said I wouldn't get anything, but I did actually pick up a few things. Um, and the biggest reason actually wasn't for the sale, it was actually because of the, um, like the rewards points that they're doing right now where you can get like up to a thousand points and I didn't know this, but apparently if you get 500 points, you can use it as $10 towards your purchase. And I'm like, well, if it's essentially almost like free points, um, I just have to kind of meet certain criteria. You know, they say like make an order with some samples or like do a pickup order or buy a hair, buy a hair item and buy a makeup item or whatever. I'm like, well, if I can like spend a little bit and get basically a $20 worth of um, like points, I... I'm gonna go for it because that's the kind of deal hunter I am like I go for deals I go for points it's not great to be honest you can really get sucked into it but uh, I gave in anyways but this is what I picked up from the Sephora sale and a few other things that happened along the this past since my last update um, from Sephora I got their shower oil I haven't had a shower oil in my life in a long time this is their Manoi shower oil um, I also got, I needed, I know I'm going to need some uh, conditioner coming up, so I did pick up the Ordinary Conditioner. And then, um, I am actually running low, I'm not running low, I, it's crazy, I hit pan on my, um, brush slash sponge cleaner from e.l.f. And that was probably the, one of my proudest pans, to be honest. I can't wait to show you guys that pan. I'll have to show you guys next time, probably. But I did pick up a new one from the Sephora brand. And theirs actually comes with a little scrub pad as well, which is really nice. And it smells really nice. I don't think the e.l.f. one really smells like anything. So, um, this will be nice to have. Um, cool. So that's pretty much what I picked up from there. I think, like, um, samples-wise from them, I got the fresh face cleanser um i don't really have a ton of face cleanser in my like skincare collection and i don't really use it a lot other than when i'm showering and even then i've been using the um like powder cleanser like that's been really cool so um i don't i'm trying to figure out if i really want actually like liquid cl liquid face cleansers in my life anymore and maybe just get powder cleansers because i feel like that's just they're just gonna last forever they, I can like travel with them a lot easier. I feel like there's a lot of benefits and I need to look into that a little bit more. But anyways, if anyone has any experience with that, let me know. Um, I was also watching Makeup Lesbians, and or Lipstick Lesbians, and uh, she was talking about, I think her name's Christina, she was talking about um, uh, tubing mascaras. And I have been in, I, my mascara game right now is terrible and mascara is honestly one of my favorite parts of my makeup routine. And that's the part I want to enjoy most. So I really, really want a good product that will like hold my curl. Um, I like separating and lengthening, um, like really a, like a more natural look. I don't want like the clumping or like the fibers, or anything that I just want something like super simple. Um, so now I'm starting to explore tubing mascara. So um, this was a hundred point perk from Sephora, the Cali Ray, come hell or high water. This was also really highly recommended from Emily Noel. Um, and so I've been meaning to try this out, but I just 
I can't bring myself to pick up like high-end mascaras. Um, I also learned that the Maybelline Snap Scare is apparently tubing, so I picked up a tube of that. Um, and then I was at my local um, like discount grocery store, and they had Mineral Fusion um, waterproof mascara. I don't know how good this is but it does have the natural bristle wand which i also prefer so i'm wondering if it will be any good to me um then i also i think they also threw in a toner for me i don't really need any more toner but that's okay anyway so that's everything that i got into my collection and i am very happy to announce that i am officially starting my low buy no buy something like that where <laughs> I'm going to be going, I'm going to be just leaning into this. I, I'm putting a lot of pressure on myself to actually make it happen this time. Um, basically, what I'm doing is something, what I'm calling Project Lip Lab. Um, so I found out that Lip Lab, like from Bite Beauty, um, the Bite Beauty brand has officially ended, like in terms of selling things to like general cut like to the public but their lip labs are still open um so i learned that they just opened one in dc and um i actually just moved from the dc area i have friends over there um uh, one of my good friends that watches this hello um she and i are both like lip addicts <laughs> and so um we've bought it over that more and more ever since i moved and so i was like all right my one of the big ways i'm gonna come back and visit is i'm gonna like, we're going to go do this together. We're going to go to Lip Lab together. So, um, yeah, I think I realized, like, this is this is a great motivator. Like, why don't I do that for myself? I have a young family right now. I don't have time to myself. Let me make this into, like, a solo trip that I'm going to be really excited and motivated for. And um, so, I'm hop so I'm hoping to go in about a year's time in, like, fall 2024, which I'm super excited about. I'm hoping nothing will happen to the lip lab between now and then. But basically, I want to, quote, fund the trip through empties or, like, other kind of mode, kind of, like, yeah, like, through other healthy habits and things like that, where I'm going to kind of give myself, um, it's essentially a point system, but it's, like, I'm going to talk about it in dollars, so I don't know. To me, it's going to make sense. To you, it's going to be, like, what is this crazy idea? Um, you know, you do you and I'm going to do me. So I'm going to talk about it just for accountability's sake. If it goes over your head, that's totally fine. I have made up even a ton of rules for myself. Um, I don't expect anyone to follow in my footsteps. I think I'm just excited to share that I like came up with this system to motivate myself. And I think everyone should do that for themselves, you know? Um, like I've been talking a long time about doing a no buy and I was like, what am I doing it for? Like, who am I doing it for? Like my money's my money. I should do it for myself. But I'm like... I'm realizing I actually want to put my money towards this incredible like trip that I already have planned out in my head, right? Of like visiting friends, getting to make my own lipstick, um, you know, it, and I'm just, I'm realizing that I actually want to put my money towards those things of like those experiences. And yeah, like that the lip lab, each lipstick's like 60, 50, 60 dollars. It's crazy, right? Because you're paying for more than just the lipstick you're bringing home you're paying for the experience and you know of course the overhead and staff or whatever right but um but yeah I'm like that 60 bucks is gonna be worth it because I'm going to work so hard in this year to not buy anything and it's gonna be so great to like not only buy a lipstick for myself but like create one right so anyways long story short um I think I'm hoping through this experience I will learn that I want my money to go towards experiences and that makeup and um, what I experienced through like one item of makeup is not, is very, very small compared to something I can experience with friends and family and, you know, or like trips that I do for myself, you know, things like that. Um, yeah, so I'm hoping I'll, I'll be able to do that. But with that, me being the type A person I am, I've also, um, have this whole system and this chart that I have set up so I keep looking down because I have this I'm doing it through paper right now I I feel like I should do it through the spreadsheets and whatnot but you know what sometimes good old paper writing it down is good to go um, I'll probably end up transcribing this into a, a like an online something but um, for now I just kind of want to prototype it and kind of work it out for myself um, so essentially, my goal for, quote, funding is going to be about around $800. That's including the flight and 
uh, meals and the actual lip lab experience and you know whatever else is going to happen on that trip um and so it's it's kind of the 800 is kind of framed around certain estimates i've already done um I, like i said it's my deadline is going to be around this time next year so you know like mid october late early november ish time frame as i'm hoping to be able to make that trip for myself um so basically, I know a lot of people when they calculate empties um, and things like that, you know, you usually do like the retail value, right? So like if a lipstick is 20 bucks and you put in 20 bucks, if the lipstick, same size lipstick is $5 at the drugstore, you put in $5. For me, I feel like if I did that, I would ne totally neglect my drugstore, you know, in like lower end lipsticks and just like gun straight for the higher end ones. And yeah, it'd be great to finish those. Um... But I think I really want to give equal weight to all of my lip products. Um, so basically, I've done something like, I will explain to you now. It's kind of like more of a point system than it is a dollar system, but I'm going to say dollars. So if I finish a full-size lip product, um, or what one person would consider full-size, I know a lot of lip products like lip glosses, they come in different sizes, lip liners, you know, like the retractable lip liner is a, has a lot less product than a, a pencil lip liner, right? Like I explained that in the past, this has 0 0.04, this is 0 0.4 grams. I think this has 1.2 grams. Yeah, like it is, it's insane. Like this is three times the product of this, right? Like that's, these are both, I would, once I finish one of, once I finish this and I finish this, I would consider that full size. Um, so anyways, all that to say, um, full size lip product, I'm counting $20 towards my prod project for everyone I finish. Deluxe size lip products will be $12. Um, complexion products will be $30. Um, that's like face, face powders, foundations, concealers, so on and so forth. Cheek products would be like blush, contour, bronzer, um, nail polish, $15. Um, and then this is where I'm starting to do more like per ounce pieces because I feel like it's super varying for this cat these categories I'm gonna talk about. So for like hair, I'm putting it at a dollar an ounce. Uh, so for instance, whenever I finish this ordinary one, this has 8.1 fluid ounces, so this would count around eight dollars towards my project. Um, and I think it's actually eight dollars for real something like that so um and but also that means like things i buy at the drugstore for six bucks and are like 12 ounces that would end up being 12 dollars. so again it's not one-to-one -one real life versus my project but i think for the way i value it this is how i value it um setting spray is going to be five dollars an ounce mascara is actually monthly so i get seven dollars um for every month that I use a mascara. I tend to throw mine out in about three months. Um, so I don't know. Things will vary, but right now it's I've wrote down seven dollars on a piece of paper. Um moisturizer, sunscreen, like that category where I'm I'm pretty much using the same amount every single day all over my face is gonna be twenty dollars an ounce. Um serums because I use less, I'm putting at thirty dollars an ounce. Eye creams, eye serums, we know how long those take it's gonna be actually fifty dollars an ounce i i know that sounds crazy but i've been working through this foil sample of an eye serum and i think i'm on about a week a week and a half yeah i think it's been actually over a week and i think i still have another week's worth in here um this has point zero three fluid ounces and i think doing my math with my fifty dollars in ounce for eye cream this comes out to a five dollar sample um yeah i think i'll, I'll take the five dollars like you know i made it last um foil samples i'm doing one dollar each and then toner is going to be five dollars an ounce um i think there's like other things in there that i haven't accounted for yet but um you know i'll i'll get to it when i get to it i honestly haven't finished a ton up yet so it's I think once I think of it, I'll, I'll go ahead and do that. There is a penalty though. Um, like this isn't a complete no buy in the sense where I am gonna halt all spending, but there is a penalty. Um, if it's a replacement, I 
right now I wrote down that there's no penalty if it's an actual replacement. There's no other product like it in my collection. I can replace it at no cost or, or no penalty to myself. If it's an extra item, I'm trying to decide. For now, I wrote down that it would be like the same value. So like I would, so if I got another lip product, it would deduct $20 from my fund that I put towards it so far. Um, I might up the ante to actually double that um, just because I don't see myself needing almost anything in, in most of these categories within the next year. So um, I almost want to like double that <laughs> to really up the ante. And the main purpose isn't so much that I won't buy, but it's to really make myself think twice, right? Do I really want to go on this trip? Um, I haven't really thought yet about what happens if I don't reach my goal of $800. But, you know, I think I'd probably give myself a little bit of grace. Say maybe I get to like 700, right? Like I'll still let myself go. But if it's like 600, 500, like I really need to think about what I need to do. But... There are some saving graces to this. I am not com depending completely on all my makeup entities to fund this because, frankly, I'm a pretty light makeup user. Um, I almost, I try to wear it almost daily just for my own, you know, like for my own self-care. But I use a pretty light hand with a lot of things. Um, and so I really don't think just even with my system alone, I will be able to make it to the 800. So I have a few things in place. Some of them are just for my own just to work on my own habits and um, some of them I'm hoping will actually like really benefit me in the long run. First is I will confess I have a really really bad q-tip habit. I'm ashamed to say that. <laughs> if anyone from work ever catches me it's gonna be so sad. Um, I'm not gonna go into why but it's just it doesn't make sense why I <laughs> in my line of work that I even have a q-tip habit. Anyways, I have a bad Q-tip habit. It's actually resulted to where I've had multiple um, ear infections, like outer ear infections because of it. I know it's because of that. And so, um, and last week when I went to the doctor because I was sick, uh, the doctor actually caught me and she was like, yeah, it's your Q-tip use. And so I'm like, all right, I really got to kick this. So now I'm throwing this out on the interwebs. I am going to work that into this project in the way of if I can go if I can go six weeks total so 54 days of not using a q-tip in my ear I will get a $60 fund like towards this fund um, if I break it at any point that will actually be a $20 penalty towards that and then I you know the clock start ticking again um, it seems pretty brutal, but I really need to kick it, so this is my way of doing it. And so far, I am three days in. <laughs> and it's, it's, you know, it's, it's better than I've done in a long time. So I'll, I'll give myself that, and I'm hoping I'll slowly make my way to the six-week goal. All right, the next one is actually some, um, medication I need to use, and I've just been putting it off. Um, it's not, like, crazy health reasons, it's just something I need to, like, take consistently for two weeks and so I'll do that I'll give myself uh, you know like 20 bucks into the fund if I if I can actually get it done because I've just been like not wanting to do it even though I've been told multiple times by my doctor to do it um and the last one so far is working out I am it's been hard to work out um I, I think you guys have probably heard a few times now that I have young kids um so that's made it hard um but just even for my own health, physical health, mental health, emotional health, I need to like be regularly taking those, you know, I'm just giving myself 20 minutes a day, whether it be walking or a walking workout, home workout, whatever, um, 20 minutes a day. Um, and if I do those 20 minutes a day, I'm so far, I'm going to give myself $5 into the fund, which sounds like a lot, but also it's because I haven't been doing anything for myself. So I was like, all right, I'm just going to, I'm going to give it to myself and um and doing the math if if I did a workout most days leading up to the the deadline of this challenge I will actually get to $800 just by doing workouts alone and for me I'm like sure why not if I can get myself healthy in one way or another like that that will help 
Um, so I don't know. I might end up lowering that um, amount, you know, like maybe to three dollars every twenty minute workout or something like that. But um, for now, I'll keep it at five dollars because it's actually gotten me to do two workouts so far, and um, I'm pretty proud of myself for that. <laughs> so, um, but that being said, I will bring you all along in the journey of of me on this fun. Um, I, let me do my outs really quick so I can tell you kind of how much I put towards the fund. Um, let me see. A few things here don't... These two... No, these only one of these count towards it, but that's okay. Um, just wanted to show you an empty moisturizer bottle. Um, I used up the entire Suasu, um moisturizer. Moving on to some samples now. Um, I actually didn't mind it. Wouldn't pick it up myself. Next thing here actually does count towards my project. It is this e.l.f. Um, serum. It's like retinol serum. It was interesting. Uh, it had like an orange tint to it, I think because of some of the ingredients. I don't think it's vitamin C or anything, but it's like antioxidant type stuff. Um, so anyways, I thought this was all right. I actually have a few more samples of this to use up eventually. And this did, did go towards my fund for, um, let me see, I said serums was $30 an ounce. It is 0.16 ounces, so it goes around $5 into my fund. Um, so with this sample, with the workout from yesterday and the workout from today, I have now $15 towards my fun out of 800. So a lot more to go, but you know what? We've started. It's begun. Um, and the last quote empty actually isn't. It's the sugar advanced therapy sample, like deluxe size sample. Um, I actually ended up depotting it because it was just so soft. It was way too emollient to like hold up in this packaging. Um, so I just went ahead and, and put it into like a little sample thing and we'll use it up that way. Um, actually I have it right here. So it's just in one of these little guys and then I'll, I'll use this probably up within the next week or so. Um, cool. Well, with that being said, let me go ahead and throw on my face. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll try to go through it a little bit quickly um, and kind of just explain some of the things that I have been working through and what I am hoping to see end up in my empties list very, very soon. So um, to prime, I usually put on like a, um, actually today I'll maybe throw on a real primer just to, for the sake of using it. Um, but oftentimes it's just sunscreen and then I kind of let that be my primer for the day. But I'm going to throw on some um, e.l.f. Luminous um putty primer and so yeah I'm finding that I'm actually not really needing as much of a putty primer as much as I thought I did or like having an illuminating primer as much as I thought I did so we'll see how it goes long run but I have a lot of primers to work through in my collection all right next is um actually an interesting combo of things I have this Maybelline green color corrector I actually bought this for my sister a long time back but I've gotten really gotten into color correctors and she doesn't use it so she just gave it right back to me um I end up dotting this around my face where I think I have some redness probably doesn't matter to most people but I just scribble it on and then I end up dotting uh, my Neutrogena Hydro Boost hydrating tint right over it. It's gonna swipe, swipe, swipe. I'm gonna use my Real Techniques foundation brush. Do my best to blend that in. As you can see, that green color character really isn't like it's like so emollient that it just blends right in, anyways. So, and I'm covering with other things too. All right. So now that I've had some covered up some things, um, I now like to go into underpainting. I think it's called. So, I have been kind of doing a concoction of things. Um, I've been using. Um, this Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk as part of my blush. I just find it a little bit too light for my lips. And it, it has like kind of a weird white cast to my lips too. So, and then um, I've been also using one of my Franken lipsticks as 
my blush as well so I just kind of dot that on I know it looks really intense but it ends up blending out with the powder and stuff like that so let me blend that in first and my lighting's so bad that honestly you can't tell a huge difference but in real life it um, looks a little bit maybe more red than you would typically want but it really isn't like that bad at all all right the next thing I do is um, I take my Huda Beauty lip contour which is way too much for my lips but great for actual face contouring mixed in with my Westman Atelier contour so as you can see it's like super orange but it's like too warm for my lips it's weird and then I pull up my Westman Atelier contour stick and this is sometimes even too cool so I've just been like oops that was really messy it is a little messy it was just like mix out the back of my hand like that and then I take my contour brush and then I just like take half of half of it onto my face and then the other half on the other side of my face. Typical contour points. Alright, so keeping in line with cream products, I'm going to go ahead and put on my eye primer. I really enjoy using um, MAC Groundwork. Um, once I blend it in, it's like almost it's like literally the color of the shadows of my eyes. <laughs> and so it really makes a great primer. And then um, for today for eyeshadow, I think I'm going to just go in with um, Matt Woodwinked. Ooh, I forgot to show you guys. In my palette, I don't know if, I can, I don't know if it's going to show, I hit a pan in Woodwinked, which I think it might not be natural. I feel like I mixed Woodwinked with something else. And then I have, oops, and then I also have a pan in um, my Franken shade. I don't know how I'm going to be able to show you guys. Let's see. Oh, fill it again. Okay. I think you can kind of see it. Um, but yes, I'm very proud of those pans. Anyways, all that to say, I'm going to just throw a little bit of wood paint on my eyes today. Uh, just because, like I mentioned before, I'm not going anywhere. Just putting this on the sake. For the sake of giving you guys a peek into how I do my everyday makeup. Um, and then from here, I'm going to do my uh, mascara. I always sanitize my, um, my eyelash curler because I have had persistent issues with styes and I do not want that to happen again. So sanitize your, your tools, people. And also um, wash your makeup brush, brush it often. So um, I'm actually using my viewfinder. It's not even a viewfinder. This is my phone. I'm using my phone as my mirror today. So we'll see how it actually turns out. You know, once I step into and look into a mirror. So I do that real quick. And then um, right now I've actually been using the Maybelline Sky High primer. Um, and... This is, thankfully doesn't smudge a ton. I think I've realized a few things through this. One, not really a huge fan of the super flexible brush. I don't like plastic wands, and this does not hold a curl to save my life. So, for the sake of mascara, I'm gonna put it on. But, um, I like the effect though. It's really, really natural. And like, not too much in your face. But yeah, it's just in a few minutes, you're just gonna watch my curls completely wither. All right, and then um, I think all that's left, uh, maybe I'll do a little bit of brows. I've just been trying to run a little bit of the e.l.f. Um, wow brow through my brows a little bit. You're probably not going to see a huge difference. I don't shape them or anything like that. Oh, wow. I just got a huge chunk right there. Okay. And then um, for lips, I've been doing an interesting combo, actually. I've still been testing out a lot of different combos. 
Um, I want to use up a lot of lip products in the next year. But I did pull back out my Clinique Black Honey, and I realized I really like this. <laughs> this is kind of the shade I've been searching for the past few months, and it's been my collection the whole time. Go figure, right? Um, it's a little dark and a little red for my taste, so sometimes I'll tone it down with maybe like the Rare Beauty um, lip liner and Admired. And then I'm um, just going to throw on this Patrick Ta lip gloss. And that's pretty much the look. So um, usually I put spritz on some, you know, setting spray and things like that. Um, but yeah, but I have, that's kind of been my look lately. And, um, and yeah, I think a few of the other things that I've been working through, and one of the reasons why I really want like my point system to be um, pretty much one for one and not on the retail value is because this Patrick Ta gloss is like $26, $28. And then I also have this, you know, lip glow oil that's a dupe of the DR1 that I bought for maybe like $3 off of Amazon. This almost has the same amount of product, and I want to use up both of them, and I don't want to, you know, neglect this one, because it's actually a decent product, and um, just because I want the high retail value. So, all that to say, I have a lot of things I'm going to be working towards, I think, in this next year, and um, I am looking forward to bringing you all along in that journey, and I hope that um, if any of you are kind of going through a similar um, journey of, of really trying to go on a no buy, trying to motivate yourself. Um, yeah, think about it. Like, what are you working towards? And I think for me, I'm working towards this awesome trip that I'm looking forward to. Um, and I'm excited to say that, you know, more than, I don't know, I think just for this no buy for a sake of a no buy sometimes isn't that exciting. I mean, yes, like better, you know, finances and better grasp of, you know, our collection and things like that. But by the, at the end of this, I get to go on a trip, and I'm pretty excited about that. So I'm hoping that more will come out of it, too, and I'll kind of share that along the way. But um, thanks so much for watching, and um, I'll see you all in the next update. Have a good one. Bye-bye.